Hi, Assalamualaikum Okay, uh, we will continue our our class Okay, uh, this is the part 2 in chapter 1 We will discuss about, we will continue our discussion Okay, um, types of communication is type of communication signal So there are, normally there are two types Okay, uh, analog and digital. So there are two types of communication signal, two types of signal basically. One is analog and one is digital. So what is analog? Analog is smooth and continuous voltage variation. So we have voltage. So let's say this is V, this this is V and this is this uh, at this is T. Okay, so the voltage, the value of the voltage of the signal changes smoothly and continuously. The change the changes is continuous and smooth regarding to time getting to the time as this uh, x as this so this is called analog so it could be any signal like this this is called analog signal the most common is sine wave okay sine wave this is a uh, near sine wave or combination of many sine wave so but the, the common one is sine wave i think i believe that you already familiar very familiar with sine wave okay so the definition is smooth and continuous variation the second uh, types is digital digital is binary uh, binary means digital Bin binary means two two level in this case two level or sometimes they call it two states. Okay, two states. Dua keadaan. Either high, low, okay, or on, off. So two states. There are a few more, um, few more terms to describe these uh, binary states or two states. The most common is high, low, or on and off. So sometimes we have uh, five volts and zero volt, like that. Could, could be anything. Eh? So. There are two types of communication signal. First is analog and second is digital. Okay, analog and signal. There are analog and signal types in our life. Okay. Analog example, the information can be in, in terms of analog or digital. So analog example are for example, human voice or music, the sound, any, any sounds, huh? it is analog. Sometimes you hear high, low, lower, lower, higher. Uh, that is kind of a smooth change. Okay, the second one is digital, such as binary coded number. <laughs> binary coded number or on and off on on the switch of the switch there is digital form okay so therefore there are two types of communications two types of communication analog communication and digital communication okay so okay you have two types analog and digital Communication signal variation. Okay, 
Okay, uh, these are the terms for communication signal. First is baseband. Second is broadband. What is this? Baseband is the original information signal such as the original. Baseband is the original information signal such as audio, video, data. So baseband can be analog or digital. So this these are base. Base means basically base is related to low low frequency. Okay, when you talking about base means low frequency. So original information signal such as audio. This audio is common is voice. Huh? Our voice. Our voice is low frequency signal or also known as baseband. The second one is broadband. Okay, the baseband signal modulates or modify a carrier signal which is usually sine wave at frequency much higher than the baseband signal. So when you have low frequency baseband signal, you need to have uh, high frequency high frequency carrier signal okay carrier now you have information signal carrier signal information signal is baseband carrier is broadband so the baseband signal modulates or modifies carrier signal which usually sine wave at a frequency higher than the baseband signal so this these are two uh, Baseband and broadband. Basic analog communication system. Okay, basic, yeah, basic. So, according. So, this is again, you see, is called block diagram. Block. So, you see, this is block, 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 block. So, this is block diagram of. diagram of a basic analog communication system so you can see here analog uh, not digital this is analog so what is the input for analog communication system you know this this is microphone so what is the information coming from our voice of course again right? so at the microphone maksudnya the voice. So what is this? This is this mic is called input transducer. So what is this? This is input transducer, which convert our our voice into some kind of electrical signal. So this electrical signal is now become baseband signal. Okay. So so you you have now input transducer or microphone voice which is information converted transducer means something to trans to transform or convert so this transducer convert voice into low frequency electrical signal which is also known as baseband signal okay this is the first part so after that it go to the transmitter transmitter just now we have already discussed about transmitter there are few circuits circuits here so one of the most important part or uh, component of the transmitter is known as modulator so modulator so this modulator normally you have the function is to modulate okay to modulate the baseband signal and carrier signal okay so this modulation process uh, happen in transmitter before before it produce a signal that will be transmit or transfer to the transmission channel or the transmission medium so in this case this signal is 
electromagnetic wave. Yes, now we have seen uh, RF, right? RF, radio frequency. This is EM, electromagnetic wave. So this modulator, the output is electromagnetic wave, which is the modulated signal. Modulated signal. Modulated is the process of combining this carrier signal with this uh, baseband signal. So baseband plus carrier become modulated signal. So this modulated signal being transmit or transfer into the transmission medium. In this case, most probably what? Electromagnetic, it could be optical fiber or free space. Okay, so this is example of transmission channel or transmission medium. So you have optical fiber or free space as the transmission channel. So the electromagnetic wave tra travel, travel from the transmitter to the receiver through this channel. Okay, so at the receiver, the, the signal is received normally for electromagnetic wave, you have the some kind of uh, receiver. So at the receiver, the the process of demodulation happen in demodulator. So at, if you have the modulator in the transmitter, you will have demodulator at the receiver. So demodulator is, is a device that reverses the process of modulator. If in the modulation process, uh, the signal of baseband and carrier is combined, now here in demodulator, the signal is, is removed. The baseband signal is removed from the carrier signal. So, so that the output of this receiver will, will become uh, the information of the baseband. The baseband signal is interpreted at the receiver so that the the uh, information can be extract, can be received, can be read, can be understood at the transducer, output transducer. So this example of output transducer is, is very common, the speaker, okay, some kind of speaker or earphone. Yes, now you have seen, uh, we have a earphone as the output transducer. Transducer means it convert the electrical signal here from the from the electric electrical signal convert into the into the sound okay sound of what sound of the voice or sound of if you have here music you will comp this output transducer will convert into the the music okay Digital communication system block diagram. So this is a little bit, uh, a little bit, little bit detail. So you have analog source. Analog source is 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 always uh, the the most common is the voice. You have a uh, voice. A to D, if the source is in analog form, you need to convert into digital at the analog to digital converter. So this is source encoder. Then you have channel encoder, modulator, power amplifier, channel, amplifier again, demodulator, channel decoder, source decoder, and then if if the signal is in digital. So you need to have conversion from uh, digital to analog. So you need to convert again to uh, digital to analog so that the signal will be um, present or processed to the analog user. Okay, so this is digital communication system. As now we have seen uh, Analog communication system.
Okay, this figure shows block diagram of a typical digital communication systems. Okay, so uh, we, I need to check this first. Huh? Okay, second. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, next ada masalah teknikal sikit. Okay, next uh, is modulation. So, why is modulation? Modulation is a process, eh? process. Just now we have seen that uh, the baseband signal and you have a carrier signal and modulator just now in the in the block diagram we have seen that so modulation is the process happen in the modulator so modulation is an electronic technique or method in which a baseband information signal so i hope you still remember this baseband baseband information signal modifies a carrier signals so we have here carrier and baseband usually a sine wave for the purpose of frequency translation and carrying the information signal via radio radio means rf huh? radio frequency the common type of modulation are amplitude frequency and phase so now you have modulation just now you have seen that uh, this is modulator right so you have modulator this uh, carriers carrier carrier signal or carrier frequency and this is baseband baseband frequency so this is the process upper process here yeah, process is like combination of carrier frequency and baseband frequency at the modulator so this process is known as modulation Baseband information me modifies the carrier signal, so they combine the, this this signal modify or interact with the carrier signal for the purpose of frequency translation, meaning conversion of the frequency. So output dia akan menghasilkan sesuatu yang mempunyai frekuensi yang berbeza daripada ni dan di ataupun daripada combination frequency baseband and carrier. So that uh, this carrier akan carry this baseband signal sebelum dia transmit ke dalam bentuk RF, radio, radio frequency. The most common type are amplitude, frequency and phase. So amplitude is known as AM, amplitude modulation. Frequency is FM, phase is PM, phase modulation. So why modulation? Why modulation? First, to generate a modulated signal suitable and compatible to the characteristic of the transmission channel. 
So because you need to transmit the signal, so you need to modulate into suitable characteristic uh, of that channel. Number two is for ease of radiation and reduction of antenna size. So modulation process also uh, related to the size of the antenna. Okay. Number three is reduction of noise and interference. Okay. To reduce the noise and interference during the transmission. Number four is for channel assignment. Channel assignment means you need to assign which channel the signal will be transmitted. So in order to, to assign, you need to modulate. Number five is to, to increase the transmission speed. Because uh, low frequency signal is uh, travel slower compared to higher trans higher frequency signal. So in order to send the signal uh, quickly, you need to increase the speed. So how you need how to increase the speed of low frequency signal? So you need to modulate. So one, two, three, four, five. There are five reasons why the modulation process is need to be done for the uh, baseband signal. Okay. Just now we have uh, discussed uh, there are a few type of uh, modulation. So the, the first is amplitude modulation. We will discuss this uh, further in uh, next chapter, but this is a brief uh, description. So amplitude modulation means we change the amplitude of the modulating signal is sinusoid in this example. High frequency carrier normally much higher than the baseband frequency. So in this case, amplitude modulation means we change the amplitude of the carrier signal. So you can see here, this is one signal. This is two signal. So basically, this signal is uh, known as baseband. So this baseband is the low frequency. This low frequency. Yeah. And uh, this is carrier signal. It is a uh, high, it is very high frequency compared to baseband. Common uh, value is around uh, this baseband is uh, around 1 kilohertz. And uh, this uh, high frequency signal, the carrier, normally around 50 or kilohertz or 100 kilohertz. Okay, so if you compare 1 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz, it is, this is very small compared to this. Okay, so if you can see here, this high frequency signal, the frequency is constant. The frequency is constant, but the amplitude is changing. Amplitude is changing. It's changing according to the value, the amplitude of this pain. Right. Okay, we will discuss this later. So, in this amplitude modulation, high frequency carrier, this is high frequency carrier, normally much higher than the base pain frequency. So, this is base pain. Base pain is 1 kilohertz. Uh, carrier is 100 kilohertz. Okay. The second is frequency modulation, FM. The baseband signal controls the carrier frequency and the carrier amplitude remains constant. So in this case, you see the, the, the amplitude, amplitude is constant. Okay. The amplitude is constant, but the frequency, the frequency is changing. You know, the frequency is the, basically the distance between this, this line and the, the, the smaller the distance, the higher the frequency. So in this part, you can see distance is a little bit 
close, you know, between this and this is closer. And in this part is uh, further far. So this higher frequency, this is lower frequency. So by changing this frequency, you can have frequency modulation. Okay. okay that's all for demolition. So next is the demolition. The demolition process is the reverse process modulation. Reverse the process of modulation by converting the modulated information sources back to its original information. Means it removes the information from the carrier signal. Okay, it is performed in the receiver by a device called demodulator. So the name is by itself, you, you know that this this the function is to to do the demodulation process. Demod a demodulator is used to demodulate the signal. Okay, so what is the process? The, the reverse process of modulation, reverse process of modulation, or we call it remove the information from carrier signal. As the process of modulation is combine this information and carrier, so demodulation is, is the process of remove, removing the information of the baseband from the carrier. Okay, next. Okay, this we will we will discuss further about this topic multiplexing in the chapter chapter four I think chapter four. Okay, multiplexing. What is multiplexing? Multiplexing also also known as MUX M U X MUX is the process of simultaneously transmitting two or more baseband information signal over a single communication channel or medium. So. Basically, multiplexing is the process of transmission of two or more, which is transmission of many baseband signal over single channel, single communication channel. So let's say you have one wire, you have uh, a few, a few uh, baseband signal. So you have few here. Input so you want you want to transmit all these channel into single communication channel. So what you do is combine this channel into into one cable, one channel. So you can see that here inputs many inputs many inputs, but only one output only one output so this is the process of multiplexing the process of combine or transmitting two or more baseband information signal over single communication channel so this is the the baseband this is the channel okay can boleh nampak kan okay dmax is the reverse process of this multiplexing of max dmax is the reverse so whenever you have D means the uh, reverse of that multiplexing. D means reverse. So demultiplex or demark is the process of recovering the individual baseband signal from the multiplex signal. So basically we we draw like this. So you have the input only one input, but the output is any so this is the mass so here is mass. okay any question no question if you have question then you can always write uh, down the comment in the youtube eh? or we we can put a discussion in uh, column so multiplexing and demultiplexing single communication channel so you, you have here single communication channel for example this is uh, optical fiber for example optical fiber so you have many let's say one two 
3 this is n n and uh, baseband signal many baseband signal so it go into the multiplexer or it go through a multiplexing process so that the sig all this signal can be combined and transmitted through single channel in this case the example is optical fiber cable okay so then you have d marks which is uh, the reverse process of emulsion where all the signal from this single optical fiber cable is uh, is convert or is transmitted into many is recovered into many a baseband signal so you have here one two three so this is the max and the max process okay uh, modulation and multiplexing so this case uh, you have multiple baseband intelligence signal or information signal formation so go into the multiplexer so then the multiplexer output will go through a modulator so this is the transmitter transmitter so before transmission we need to uh, the process of modulator so the carrier oscillator this is normally representing the carrier carrier signal so that the output is converted into the output is in radio radio frequency signal and amplified before being transmitted uh, using antenna transmitted into the free space this is the block diagram of modulation and multiplexing combined okay that's all so now you have the revision you have what you can see, you can uh, go to this youtube what is the amplitude frequency period phase so we'll discuss this later okay that's all that's all for now thank you very much we will we will meet again in the part three of chapter one